Today is going to be the day, Marinette thought as she blindly walked to school. Today, Marinette has decided to tell Adrian how she feels about him. How she always has. There have been plenty of days like today when Marinette was feeling bold and every time she either chickened out or Adrian's ignorance took over. But today was different. Today, everyone knows it's happening. Not just her, not just Alia, and not even just the girls of her class. Everyone in her class knows it's happening, except Adrian. Today after school, she thought as she approached the high school campus. Today, there was a plan, and for once, it wasn't some elaborate and super complicated plan that Marinette had come up with. This plan was devised by Olya. The plan was simple. Kim and Alex will pretend to get into another fight during class today, which will ultimately lead to yet another pointless race around the park. Today, Adrian doesn't have any plans after school, for which Olya was able to uncover due to Nino's peculiar nosiness. So once everyone is in the park, Marinette and Olya will be in charge of holding the banner, except Olya will ask Adrian to hold it so she can record, leaving Adrian and Marinette to hold the banner alone. Ivan and Nathaniel are in charge of keeping Chloe and Sabrina away, while Mylene and Max are in charge of timing the race to signal when Kim and Alex need to make a detour and disappear out of the park. It is then that Rose and Julica will lead Andre and his ice cream stand to the park. Olya and Nino would then take the banner and run behind Andre's stand to hide. Finally, Marinette would admit to her true feelings to Adrian, and they would eat Andre's ice cream and fall in love happily ever after. It's a simple plan, Marinette. Olya tried to encourage her best friend with an arm around her shoulder. But what if something goes wrong? What if Alex falls during the race, or Kim trips, or Chloe gets past Ivan, or worse? Marinette panics. Come on, girl, what could possibly be worse than all of that? Olya laughs. What if he doesn't like me? Marinette cries. You're getting worked up over nothing, Marinette. He likes you, and is more than just a friend. Don't worry, everything will work out. Olya reassures her, but Marinette's mind continues to wander as they enter the class and take their seats. Adrian and Nino walk into the class and they take their usual seats in front of Marinette and Olya. The boys turn in the seats to greet the girls, but Marinette's face heats up when she sees Adrian smile up at her. It is then that they hear two hands slam against the table. You lost the last race, Kim. You're not allowed to make bets anymore. Alex shouts and Olya fist bumps Nino. I guess you're too chicken to face me then, Kim teases her. Fine, but this is the last time. Meet me in the park today after school and we'll settle this, Alex shouts. Wow, are you two gonna race again? Rose smiles. Yeah, and you all better be there to watch me kick Alex's butt. Kim stands proudly. Adrian shakes his head with a sigh and Nino playfully punches Adrian's shoulder. Dude, we have to go, Nino says. Yeah, come on, Adrian. This might be the last time we ever get to see them race, Olya smiles. Wow. Olya's a good actress, Marinette thinks as she stares absentmindedly at her best friend. Marinette's gonna be there too, aren't you, Marinette? Olya grins over at her. E -e yeah, uh, of course, I am, uh, yeah, w w miss it for the world. <laughs> Marinette rubs her neck nervously. All right, sounds like fun. Adrian smiles up at Marinette and her face goes completely blank. Settle down, everyone. Miss Bustier's voice echoes through the classroom as the boys turn back around and Marinette flops her head onto the desk in shame. After school, Marina and Olya are holding the banner as everyone watches Alex and Kim stretch. You ready for this, girl? Olya places a hand on her shoulder. Uh, I think so. Her face was flushed. As a hand was resting on her chest, she could feel her fast-paced heartbeat, as if she had just run a marathon or she had turned a metronome up to the highest setting. Either way, quitting wasn't an option. Not today. Today, she had to face her fears, her anxieties, her nightmares, and most importantly, Adrian. The one she admired most. Not for his fame or his riches, but for his kindness, his sincerity, his passion, his beautiful green eyes, his soft blonde hair, his- <gasps> What was she thinking? Oh yeah, I, I can't do this. Marinette's nerves started to kick in as she looked over to her friend for help, but found Adrian aggress in her place. At the opposite corner of the banner was Adrian. He was holding it tightly as he watched Alex and Kim. He felt someone's eyes on him as he looked down and locked eyes with Marinette. There was a moment of silence before Max started the timer and the sound of an air horn filled the tension between them. The two averted their gaze to the race and Marinette waited nervously. The plan was working. Was Olya secretly a genius? No, that's not possible. She already knew Olya was a genius. Olya is a pro at getting her ships to sail. And yet, she can't get Ladybug and Cat Noir to go on a date. Marinette laughed quietly and Adrian looked down at her once again. What are you laughing at, Marinette? The race only just started. Adrian asks and Marinette looks up at him with red cheeks and tinted ears. Oh, um, I was just thinking about Ladybug and Cat Noir. What about? He asks as he stepped a bit closer, letting the banner curve in on itself. H how Olya hasn't managed to get them out on a date yet? Marinette smiles anxiously. It's too bad. They seem like they'd make a great couple. 
Adrian blushes lightly and Marinette's eyes widen. They do? Oh, uh, that's just my opinion anyways. He sighs before looking away. But it's not like that matters. What? Her eyebrows knit together as she looks up at him with concern. Where'd everyone go? Adrian asks as he looks around them. Huh? Marinette snaps out of her daze and looks ahead, seeing Andre's ice cream cart with Kagami standing next to it. Hey, Nino, can you hold this? I'll be right back. Adrian drops the banner into Nino's hands before quickly crossing the makeshift racetrack and jogging over to Kagami. Wait, Adrian! Nino shouts, but Adrian didn't hear him. Oya and Marinette exchanged word glances before they both turned to the ice cream stand to see Rose and Julika shrugging their shoulders. Oya steps away from Marinette to approach the two, but freezes in her place upon seeing Kagami's actions. Marinette's eyes start to water as she feels her heart sink. No, it didn't sink. It shattered. She felt a dagger penetrate her delicate glass heart and felt every last piece shatter into this now empty feeling in her chest. Marinette watched Kagami wrap her arms around Adrian's neck and kiss him, but that didn't hurt nearly as much as watching him kiss back. Marinette dropped the banner, dashed past the couple, and ran directly out of the park. Marinette, wait! Alia called out to her, but Marinette didn't stop. She kept running. She didn't know where, but she didn't stop. Not for anything not for anyone. She didn't even stop when Lucas said hello or when Master Food called out to her. She kept running, crying, and hurting until she just couldn't anymore. When she finally stopped, she leaned against the wall and ignored her need to pant. All she could do was cry. It wasn't long before she could hear her friends calling out for her. On a normal day, Marinette would feel grateful that so many people cared about her, but not today. Not now. Marinette, you need to calm down. Tiki tried to calm her. Why? There's no point. (laughs) He loves someone else. But Marinette, you might get akumatized. Tiki hugs her. Please, Marinette, just try to think positively. There's nothing left, Tiki. I have nothing without Adrian. Marinette cries a bit too loudly and one of her classmates hears her. No, that's not true. Tiki shouts and she sees an akuma gliding towards Marinette. Marinette, look out. Tiki shouts, but Marinette ignores her. Oh no. Tiki quickly takes out Marinette's earrings and flies away as the Akuma lands on her satchel. My poor girl, heartbreak is painful, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll give you the power to make everyone love you, Hawkmoth says to Marinette. No, I I already have people who care about me. Marinette cries as she tries to fight it. Even Adrian aggressed? Hawkmoth asks and Marinette's crying halters as she is transformed by the Akuma. Yes, spread your wings, Amore, and bring me Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculouses. Yes. Hawk Moth. Hey guys, I'm the Mentally Hilarious Fangirl. If you guys enjoyed chapter 1 of today's today, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video. And if you guys would like to see an animated blooper video of my voice tragedies, make sure you like and share this video with one of your miraculous friends. If I'm able to get this video up to 50 likes, then I'll post a blooper video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, enjoy quarantine to the fullest, And make sure to use this time to catch up on some of your fandoms. Bye guys!